This is the first day of 2016 with sunny weather and temperatures over 5 degrees Celsius here in Bergen. I just spent two mood enhancing hours on a park bench drinking coffee and reading the story of the human body. Now I feel more energetic, happy and eager. Sunlight always seemed to have this effect on me and I've always been a self-proclaimed sun lover. Now I know one of the reasons why I love the sun so much. Sunlight stimulates release of serotonin. In the paper Sunshine, Serotonin and Skin, a partial explanation for seasonal patterns in psychopathology, they state that human skin has an inherent serotonergic system that appears capable of generating serotonin and the machinery of the serotonergic system is present in the skin. For example, tryptophan hydroxylase, the initial enzyme in the synthesis of serotonin, is found in the human skin. We're often scared of getting skin cancer because we hear so much about it in the news. But the disease burden from too little sun is far higher than the disease burden from too much sun. When we get too little sun, bones do not form properly. We get depressed and we frequently get sick. This is probably because we get too little of the extremely important vitamin D. A Swedish study found that sufficient levels of vitamin D in early life was correlated with a decreased risk of developing type 1 diabetes. And a Finnish study found that children who got 2000 international units of vitamin D per day, the equivalent of 50 micrograms from the age of 1, had an 80% lower risk of developing type 1 diabetes later in life. There are even some indications that vitamin D can help prevent multiple sclerosis. There are certain factors that influence vitamin D production. Some of the most important ones are the time spent in the sun, how high the sun is in the sky, clothes, women who wear burqa are often vitamin D deficient, excess fat on the body, sunscreen and skin melanin. Summed up. The efficiency of production depends on the number of UVB photons that penetrate the skin. The authors state that, for most white people, a half hour in the sun in a bathing suit can initiate the release of 50,000 international units, or 1.25 mg, vitamin D into the circulation within 24 hours of exposure. This same amount of exposure yields 20,000 to 30,000 international units in tanned individuals and 8,000 to 10,000 international units in dark-skinned people. If your mood is down and the sun is up, get outside and let the sunlight in. Enjoy the extra serotonin. As we know from the first section, vitamin D also increases your level of dopamine, giving you an extra spike in your mood.